Okay, so I'm just going to show my workflow from a Lightroom to Affinity Photo and then back to Lightroom on an iPad Pro. So if we go to Lightroom here, choose an image as a sort of demonstration purposes. Let's go for this one. The first thing you want to do is to click share, but go export as. Make sure it's a TIFF file, 16-bit color depth, so it maintains all the information, no compression. Okay, and when you tick that, it will render it as a TIFF. And then you can share it to the app. So if we go to more, Affinity Photo. Okay, so you do your edits. So this one, just for demonstration purposes, if I just crop and brighten it a bit quickly. Okay, so go to filters, at the levels adjustment filter. Okay, so we increase the whites there, treat the blacks, gamma, up there. Okay, and do your, I don't know, if you, your skin with touch edits, for example. So go to this claim brush and select patch tool. Okay, first we've got to go back to the background layer. Let's get your patch tool. Don't usually remove little rolls, but it's just for demonstrations. So do that. And you know, you could add another adjustment layer for say saturation. Just give that selection. Saturation, where are we? Let's go selective color just for this speed. So, you know, we go to the reds, maybe add a bit more yellow, warm up the tones a bit in the skin. That's a little bit much. Put a little bit of magenta in there as well. We can darken them if we add a bit of black. Okay, just a couple more. Da -da -da. some brightness contrast as well okay so anyway we've done a few edits there it's not too important at this stage because it's not really what it's about so now if we go click the dots and go export you can now change uh, select the tiff here again as well dimensions we want to keep it as maximum so in this case that is the maximum dimensions because we cropped it so it should stay at maximum without you changing it make sure it's on 16 bit okay compression let's just leave that as zip now you can click on the bottom left hand corner click share and then if you share it back to lightroom and launch Lightroom now. And done. And then down here you'll see there's your there's your edited version. So not too far away really from going Lightroom to Photoshop back to Lightroom on a desktop PC. And it's uh I like to do it this way sometimes because I can edit whilst watching TV in the living room and not be so unsociable. So um yeah. Hope that helps someone. <laughs>